Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. Going to be doing a product review as well as a little bit of talk about skincare today. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, this is a product, this is Cetaphil, and this is something that I, I started using this, it seems like, forever ago. I was actually a kid when I started using this product. So, this is one of the very first facial washes that I started washing my face with. Uh, my mom has um, always went to a dermatologist when I was a kid growing up. And um, the dermatologist always recommended this product. And I remember seeing this product just advertised all over the dermatologist's office. It was everywhere you look. So anyhow, uh, my mom used it. I used it, started using it as a kid. But anyhow, um, I remember it being a really good product. I remember liking it. I remember it being uh, by far a lot more gentle than other facial cleansers or facial soaps. <clears throat> But anyhow, so I just now uh, kind of rediscovered the product. I used this product, uh, I used it a lot about five years ago. I would get the, uh, where you would get like, it was like two bottles for, it was two bottles hooked together for the price of one. I'd get it from Target. So about five years ago, I started really using this product again. And then now recently, I, I just reintroduced myself with the product. Uh, anyhow, this is the Acetophil Gentle Skin Cleanser, and it says face, uh, face and body, all skin types, mild, non-irritating formula, softens as it cleans. And this time I just bought a small bottle, eight fluid ounces, just to reintroduce myself with the product all over again. I have dry, sensitive skin. Um, you guys know this. A lot of uh, facial cleansers dry my skin out. They cause me redness, skin irritation, tightness, all that. Now, this is this is very mild, and however, I do feel it works very well for me, and I do like it. It seems like I've always liked it, but I noticed something. Um, yeah, in the ingredients here, I just I noticed this. Okay, first off. It says it's soothing, non-irritating, ideal for face and body, uh, helps skin retain needed moisture, mild enough to cleanse a baby's delicate skin, rinses easily and leaves uh, skin feeling soft and smooth. It's not a comedogenic. It is fragrance-free, a dermatologist recommended, which it is. Like I said, I just my, my mom's dermatologist was boasting this product all over the place. So we started using it when I was a kid. But anyhow, you guys, here we go. Here are the ingredients. Okay. Okay, water, alcohol, propylene glycol, uh, ick, sodium lauryl sulfate, oh my goodness, more alcohol, parabens, uh, uh, my goodness. You've got meth methyl paraben, propylene paraben, uh, butyl paraben. Uh, mm, yeah, okay. This is just loaded with parabens. I am so shocked. And I'm really wondering if the product's ingredients have changed or have the ingredients always been so bad? Have they always been so risky? So I am super, super, super duper, uber, uber disappointed in this product. This is just one of these products that I loved as a child. I had faith in. I believed in this product. And I always thought it was so gentle, so pure, so mild. But seriously, oh my. But you know, I started using it again about five years ago. And I really, I, it seems like five years ago, because I was studying skincare five years ago, I was studying ingredients, I was studying cancerous causing chemicals, cancerous causing agents. I was studying all this information five years ago. So it seems like five years ago, I would have really put this ingredient list under a lot of scrutiny here and I would have saw a lot and um, not liked a lot. So I'm wondering, did the ingredients change for Cetaphil? Have you guys noticed this? I mean, who knows, you know? But um, propylene glycol, sodium lauryl sulfate, uh, alcohol, tons of parabens. I mean, oh, woo, oh my. So anyhow, uh, you know, as we all know, parabens are not a good thing. They act as endocrine gland disruptors, and then they could just wreak havoc on your hormones and your endocrine gland system as a whole. And... Um, 
Yeah, not only that, any anywhere between 60 and 90% of what we put onto our skin is absorbed directly into our bloodstream. Not looking good. So anyhow, I am going to probably go ahead and use up this bottle, um, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I am, I'm a little shocked, you know. My videos out here, I'm, I'm a beauty guru, exact, you know, just like everybody else, no different. But um, yeah, I, I bring a lot of truth and I bring a lot of honesty out here uh, among the beauty community on YouTube. So we just need more truth. We need more honesty. We need more reality out here. And I always try to keep it truthful and honest on my channel. So. I see these ingredients and I'm not liking them, very questionable. So let me know, did this formula change? Has it always been this? I mean, you know, okay. So let me know, let me know. I love you guys so very much. Be sure to give me a big, huge thumbs up. Be sure to give me a big, huge like. As always, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let's talk. Take care.